In this video, I look what might be some of the best retro motorcycle gloves available here in Australia. G'day throttlers and welcome back to the channel. Now if you're new here, welcome, my name's Rob and essentially I'm an enthusiast that likes to share my thoughts, my opinions and my experiences about anything to do with a throttle, motorcycles, cars, boats, whatever comes my way, I'll bring it to you if I think it's interesting enough. Today, I am bringing you my thoughts and opinions on the Filthy Leather Co. Retro motorcycle gloves. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna throw these on, whack a jacket on, and I'm gonna have a COVID safe ride around my local LGA, and uh, I'm gonna tell you a story about how I discovered Filthy Leather Co. And then, at the end, I'll be back here in the garage, and I'll give my opinions. Okay, let's get down to the nitty gritty about these gloves. Now, 
Filthy Leather Co. Retro style gloves. Let's face it, we have to be honest right from the start. Retro gloves are not super protective. There's no knuckle protection, there's no extra palm protection, but that's not why you buy retro gloves. You buy retro gloves to look cool, and these absolutely do that. All right, now, the Filthy Leather Co. retro gloves are so soft, probably the softest leather that I've ever felt, so comfortable to wear. The, uh, the stitching on it is double stitched. Everything's stitched so strongly and securely. Uh, I can't see these things falling apart for a long, long time. And on the index finger and the thumb, there is an extra pad. I'm assuming that that's something to maybe activate when you're using your phones, uh, perhaps. Um, but it is on the index and the thumb on both gloves. And as you can see, there's an FLC tag hanging off the side and really nicely embedded into the leather of the top of the hand is the Filthy Leather Co. logo. What do you think about retro gloves? Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about retro gloves. Are you willing to sacrifice a little bit of safety for a lot of cool? Uh, or is it just something you don't consider? Now, I want to talk about where I will use these gloves and where I won't wear these gloves. Now, the way I'm gonna use these gloves is, I'm wearing them on the rides where I have my open face helmet. So essentially that means it's a suburban ride, slow speed ride. Uh, when I get onto the highway, I always use my full face helmet and that'll be also when I use my uh, more safety specific gloves as well. But for when I'm cruising around the suburbs, like I just did now, going to the post office, going to the grocery store, catching up in the future when COVID's over with mates for coffee or lunch or whatever, these are the gloves I'll wear, open face helmet, rolling down the road, trying to look as cool as school. And uh, that's where I think these come into the marketplace. They're also lightweight, so a great summer glove as well. Am I impressed with the Filthy Leather Co. Retro Glove? Yeah, super impressed. It's a, it's a great product. Again, it's fit for purpose. You've got to always remember that. It's cool, it's retro, it's lightweight. There's not much protection if you have a fall. Keep that in mind. If you're worried about that, get something with knuckle pads and extra palm pads. But if you're looking for something cool, old school, uh, running around the neighborhood like I am using them, these are the ones for you. Now go over and check out filthyleatherco.com. Check out all their other gear. He's got some amazing handmade stuff. And remember, that Mexican tool roll, whew, spot on. One of those will be sitting in this shed in the not too distant future. They are very, very cool. Again, not a sponsored video team. I paid full price for these. I, um, I didn't get any discount, but I wanted them and I wanted to bring them to you guys and uh, Highly recommended. Looking as well, if you're interested in more information about Phil and finding out a bit more about the bloke, uh, once this lockdown is over, we've already pre-organized that we're gonna catch up and have a chat. And uh, I'm gonna bring Phil's story to you, have a look at his background, why he's such an adventure man, and what got him involved in making leather products in the motorcycle world as well. Anyway guys, as always, thank you for watching. I appreciate you being here. Don't forget to hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, and until the next one, throttle on, stay safe, see you later.